Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm going to do a quick project with these heating pads we sell at SparkFun. And I'm going to put them into the seats of my car. I should also say this is my first project I've ever done, so there's probably going to be a lot better ways to do different things that you guys will see. You should put them in the comments to help other people that might use this tutorial. First of all, what I got were, were the heating pads, like I said. I also got these rocker switches that we sell. Um, they have little blue LEDs in them. I also got wire from Sparkfun. This is a 25 feet black and red, so I could keep track of my negative and positive. These are um, some that I've already wired together in parallel, and the, there's gonna be two that go in the bottom of the seat and then two in the back. I'm gonna start with uh, two heating pads, and since I'm wiring them in parallel, I'm gonna do the positive to the positive and negative to the negative. And then I'll be wiring each of these to another set that are wired up just the exact same way. So here's uh, the first two that I'm gonna start with. And I'm gonna take the plastic off these wires. So while I'm wiring these together, I'll say, um, I'm not gonna show too much of me taking the seats out of the car and everything since every car is different. The way it is on mine is I have four bolts and then when I took the seats off, uh, there was a, a bunch of wires running underneath that had a quick release sort of thing that I undid and the seats came right out. It was pretty easy. Then I took the upholstery off of the seats like this. Also, um, I'm gonna show you how I um, twisted together all the connecting wires. I just did it with my hands, but I've seen tutorials um, about building other stuff where what they'll do is uh, they'll put it inside of an electric drill, all the wires on one end, and then on the other end, they'll put tape around like some pliers like this. They'll put electrical tape on these ends so it doesn't cut up in the wires, but you just hold it together and then have someone stand, you know, away from you and then you just hold in the drill and it will twist them together and make them look really good. You just gotta leave a little bit of extra wire to uh, accommodate for how much will be taken up by when it's twisting together. So hopefully this makes sense. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these pretty long uh, like I did in this one. So I'll go in the seats like this and then I'll have a little bit of this hanging back through the joint of the seat and that's where I'm gonna wire up to where I'm gonna be grounding it out by, it's actually by where you pop the hood on my car. There's a few other things grounded there already. So I'm just gonna use about two and a half feet. Now maybe just two feet of this stuff. I'm gonna strip these wires I'm actually gonna use my drill and twist these together. So hopefully that goes well. Yeah, that's way better. Now that I got these wired up, let's take them out to my car and test them out. So what I ended up doing was putting uh, the power of the circuit coming to the positive terminal of the battery, and then the ground over here to where some other things are grounded out on the motor. And I ran the wire for the positive back there and the ground over here. And what I ended up doing in here was, uh, well, here's the heating pads. So. They'll go here and here on the seat. And then 
I ran the cable through here where I had this center console so it'll cover it up and it goes back behind the CD player and up to right here where I have the switch and uh, it turns on blue when it's on so you know it's working and it starts heating your seat. And here's a look at the circuit. Um, what we did is went from the positive terminal of the battery uh, to the rocker switch where it says the where it has the positive sign and then went from where the A is for current to the positive side of the heating pads and then went from the negative side of the heating pads over to um, the ground wire that I ran from the engine ground and then uh, the the ground part on the on the rocker switch I uh, took that there too and that's what makes it so the LED can light up. Thanks for watching my quick project with these heating pads and put in the comments things that you think would help make it better. Thanks, bye.